If you're a football fan, you're not going to want to miss out on today's video. We know you love football, but did you know that all NFL footballs, including those used in this year's Super Bowl, are made of leather that is handmade in Chicago? Stay tuned, because in this video, we're telling you everything there is to know about how a football is brought into existence. First up, some background. Of course, the first thought is, who's making these footballs? Wilson's football is entirely created in America, down to the laces. The facility was established by the Ohio Kentucky Manufacturing Company in the 1930s and is situated near Ada, 70 miles from Toledo, Ohio. The company made boxing, baseball, and football gloves. Wilson bought the business in 1955 and made the decision to concentrate only on football. In the National Football League, Wilson football has been a part of every point scored since 1941. The company's contract with the NFL is one of its most lengthy, renowned, and lucrative contracts. At the Wilson Sporting Goods facility in Ada, Ohio, Jane Helser had just turned 19 when she began sewing approximately 150 handcrafted footballs every day in 1966. Helzer worked four 10-hour shifts per week for the next 48 years, sewing four leather panels together at a time to create the bodies of footballs that would be used in matches that she hardly ever watched. During that period, presidents, football players, and moon missions came and went, but she remained in place. She has attended nine Super Bowl games and claims to have felt goosebumps when she saw the football sitting there on that field at a Super Bowl because she had sewn that football. Next, we'll look into Horween Leathers. Horween Leather is basically the lumber yard for Wilson Sporting Goods. Since the first Super Bowl, Horween Leather has been Wilson Sports' only source for leather, which is the first step in creating the official NFL game balls. Horween throws a pass to his co-workers in Ohio after receiving treatment in Chicago. Coming up, a look inside the Horween Leather's factory. Even if the process of tanning leather is not particularly odor pleasant, it yields one of the sports industry's most sought-after products. As soon as you enter through the entrance, you are overcome with the scent of leather, and Arnold Horween III third, sometimes known as Skip, is deeply ingrained with that fragrance. The president of Chicago-based Horween Leather is Skip Horween. Upon being asked how long he'd been working there, Skip replied saying he'd been at it since they invented cows. But if we're being real, the man's been there since November of 1978. Skip explained that his company provides Wilson with all the raw material and they carry out the assembly. Once the leather is shipped out to Ohio, Wilson cuts and sews the ball, continuing the process of making a football. Fans recently got to see how the balls are stitched, turned, and laced at the NFL Experience in Los Angeles. Instead of using pigskin, the tannery uses cowhide to manufacture football leather. The leather's unique pebbling is created by a thousand-ton press with embossing plates. Horween commented that the visual is quite impressive as you get to see just how much pressure there is to make that print go into the leather and stay there. Every quarterback in every big game to date has had the privilege of using what Skip and his colleagues create here. Wilson provides the NFL with more than 25,000 footballs annually, claims Sports Illustrated. Horween is thus doing far more than simply imprinting W's with every gear's turn and press stroke. He is etching the name Horween into the annals of history. Next stop, Wilson's Sporting Goods. The Wilson Football Factory employs 120 people in total to produce high-quality footballs by hand. The population of Ada, Ohio is just 5,823. Two percent of the town's population works for the corporation, and that percentage increases significantly when family members do as well. The town's residents now have several work opportunities thanks to this factory. By selecting this is the manufacturing location, the town's economy benefits immensely. The factory is Ada's second largest employer behind Ohio Northern University. Wilson takes tremendous pride in the football's production process. The company has commented that the production is done by hand as they cut the highest quality cowhide panels, sew the panels inside out, steam them soft enough to turn, and lace them precisely enough to throw tight spirals. Next, the myth that footballs are made of pigskin. Hut, hut, hike, go long, and get ready to fly into the air to score a touchdown by catching a soaring pigskin. If you watch a lot of football, you've probably heard the term pigskin used frequently to describe the ball. However, if you've ever handled an actual football while playing, you know that it feels like leather. Don't fret, for you're right. The modern footballs used in collegiate and professional sports are made of leather. Although they're now composed of polyurethane or rubber, footballs still include an interior bladder. Now, onto the real making. A pig's bladder was inflated and used as the ball in the early stages of football. Today's football, in contrast, is an inflated rubber bladder encased in cowhide or pebble-grained leather cover. Because it's strong and simple to tan, this material is preferred. Cowhide from farms in Kansas, Nebraska, and Ohio are used to make Wilson's footballs. For more than 40 years, Wilson's game ball leather has been supplied by Horween Leather Company, a Wilson's leather 
leather supplier. Next, the design. The irregular shape of the football makes it challenging to catch and retain while also causing unpredictable bounces. The ball's surface is covered in white laces that aid in the player's grip. There have been numerous attempts to change the football's appearance. For instance, dimples on footballs have been tried, but they had a tendency to trap muck and filth. Coming up, the manufacturing. The best and strongest part of the cowhide is cut into a bend after going through special tanning procedures because it is this part that will be used to make the football. The panels are then die cut from the bend. An operator simultaneously cuts four panels into the precise form needed using a hydraulic clicking machine. Each panel is then reduced to specific thickness and weight by passing it through a skiving machine. Each panel has a synthetic lining that is stitched on. The three cross-laid layers of cloth that make up the lining are firmly adhered together and prevent the panel from shifting or changing shape while in use. A sewing machine of industrial strength and size is used to sew the panel and liner together. The portions carrying the lacing holes and the hole for the inflation needle are then covered with a facing, then the holes are punched. A hot wax lock stitch machine is used to sew the four panels together, making the seams extra strong. The ball is then turned inside out. The ball is then laced, a two-ply butyl rubber bladder is inserted, and inflated to a pressure of no less than 12.5 pounds, 6 kilograms, and no more than 13.5 pounds, 6.1 kilograms. The ball is examined after inflation to make sure it complies with all weight and dimension requirements. The manufacturer's name and number are ready to be imprinted on the ball. The balls are packaged and transported following examination. There's an individual who has been employed by Wilson for more than 20 years and can package a ball in under 8 seconds. Each day, she packages about 1,000 footballs. Up next, quality control. Wilson Sporting Goods Company, currently situated in Chicago, Illinois, has served as the National Football League's official ball manufacturer since 1941, NFL. The only ball approved for use in all NFL games is one bearing the Wilson brand. In the Wilson Football Factory, each ball is weighed and measured, and it must weigh 14 to 15 ounces, be 28 inches long, and have a belly circumference of 21 inches. The National Football League's NFL logo and the league commissioner's signature are branded on every ball made for professional use. Each game begins with the opening of a box containing 24 fresh balls, 12 of which are used in each half. The balls are utilized for practice after the game. The names of the competing teams, as well as the time and place of the game, are also printed onto the Super Bowl game's balls. Finally, what's the future of the ball? More than 700,000 footballs are produced annually by Wilson Football. The business will give 54 balls to each team for the Super Bowl. For the fans, Wilson will produce 10,000 commemorative balls. Future modifications to the football will probably focus more on materials than on design. Creating a better feel right out of the box is the aim. Currently, Spalding Sports Worldwide is developing a unique substance to make a composite covered football. The fact that a composite cover does not retain as much water and is less likely to get hard due to cold weather are two advantages over a leather cover. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Wilson's process of ball making? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.